everybody, I'm here for a quick little video. Um, I just want to show some things that I'm using and maybe do a little talky-talky. Um, I posted a photo of this little beauty on Instagram oh, a couple of days ago. And this was a notebook that I bought. Here, let me get rid of my pen that I bought from Chic Sparrow back in 2015, I think. Um, I didn't do an unboxing of it, I don't think, I don't remember. Um, I do have a couple, I have a video of its first setup where I was using Midori uh, Traveler's Notebook inserts in it, but... So this leather was one of the first incarnations of the Mr. Darcy leather. This is the burgundy. And um, so you'll see it looks like it's an odd size and it is a passport size traveler's notebook. And it is actually one that I designed um, and Jennifer was the one that actually made it. And you'll see down here it says, Chic Sparrow, made in the USA, 2784998. At that time, Jennifer was making um, some notebooks which she called VIP. Um, and it wasn't meaning that I was a VIP, it was meaning that the notebook was a very important object. Um, I just happened to be the last one because they were in the transition of they had just moved from the Etsy shop to their own web page and they were trying to um, navigate that transition and so they wanted to um, remove VIP they wanted to remove a lot of the different options um, that you have in order to streamline things in the business to make sure that there were not you know, errors and a whole bunch of other things. And also, you know, so you could properly plan how much leather you had and what you needed and all of that, all that jazz. Um, but this was the Burgundy Mr. Darcy leather. When it first came out, there was the black, and it was just called black, it wasn't called ink yet. The Burgundy, there was um, the buttered rum, and then there was the toffee. Those were the original four um, Traveler's Notebook cover colors for the Mr. Darcy by Chic Sparrow. Um, and so I wanted one in burgundy. I had a narrow size in burgundy, um, but I gave that to someone. <laughs> so I don't know if it's being used anymore or not. Um, so I sent dimensions that I wanted because um, it's a little bit smaller than a standard passport this way, but it's a little bit wider. And when you see the inside, you'll know why. So and when I open it, I do have my IDs here, but you'll see there are two card slots and then underneath the card slot, there's a large pocket. And in the back, there's the stitched in pen loop, which she actually, since it was a VIP, gave me the option, do I want one or don't I want one? And I wanted one and I'm actually still fine with having it. Um, I, 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 new pen loop, old pen loop, you know, I don't know. They're, they both serve a unique function and purpose, but you'll see in the back that there's the two card slots and then there's another large pocket back here as well. And it has four elastics, one, two, three, four. And I just have, this is like my wallet. So I have my 2019 calendar. This is a Midori. And then I've put my 2020 calendar in here. Um, this is my design with the two pages of grid and then the month on two pages. Um, so many people requested this after seeing a few of my videos. So, Paper and Cats, uh, Taylor, has made it now an option for all digitals and for um, physical inserts. Say you want it in a traveler's notebook, narrow or standard size, you can get it. You want it in passport, personal, pocket, um, and 
all of the TN ASICs, whatever you name it, you can get it. So that I was very excited to see that and, and to, to help her with my design. Um, and then a folder just with the Traveler's Company writing board and little pockets. So let me... There's that. And then this is just a Tomoe River paper insert. That's the um, thinner paper, and it is the dot grid. So this is what I moved into as my wallet. I um, wanted to be in something that was truly unique. Um, and no one else has anything like this other than me. So it is truly a an original. And so I wanted to move into that. So there's that. The next Traveler's Notebook that I have that I've been using um, since I got it is this one right here. This is the Moterm. It's with the coffee leather on the outside and the inside is the light gray. It is quite a beautiful notebook, as you can see. I've got some stuff for a class that I'm gonna be teaching for Mindy Lacefield. I will leave the link down below. If you love Mindy Lacefield art and you're into bullet journaling and want some uh, lessons, uh, I will be teaching one of those, and the rest will be taught by the wonderful Mindy Lacefield. Um, check that link out. Um, but I've got my Farouf zipper pouch. I just have some stickers and a stencil and that in there. Just some more stickers and stuff. But I have my 2019 monthly planner. And this is Kat's old design where it's just a month on two pages. But I do have my one for next year in the standard size where it has my two pages of grid and two pages of the month. So there is that. And just some, you know, do you guys remember those? I have these and I'm afraid to use them. <laughs> some Martha Stewart teardrops. This is the, um, weekly that I've been using. It's a week on a page with grid. And I've been using this since all, this setup since August. Um, I put a little bit of arting in here, but um, I was testing some markers on her. Um, and water. Some stencils, some stuff for Mindy's class that I will be teaching. And, you know, just my typical grid, or sorry, grid and the week on a page. So there's that. Um, and what I've been doing is I've been, where are we this week, where this week? What I have been doing is one for my personal stuff. Here's a folder, and then I have one for keeping track of my students for their, their lessons, their attendance, and all of that type of stuff. Um, Thanksgiving break, we're off the whole week. Um, and I'm going to do that for next year as well. Um, I'll be changing this up a little bit. I've got an undated and I'm, and I'm doing some fun stuff with it that I will I will share in December or hopefully I'll share in December um, and then I'll have this this exact same one for my students but it'll be undated so that way I can you know use it as is and then I have the same thing just in the standard size the writing board and a little pocket um, a little Arteza pen and then I've got, this has a lot of my ideas, which I can't show you, um, but this is just a dot grid Tomoe River paper insert. And then this is the insert that I'm doing all of the stuff in. 
So that is fun stuff that I can't show. But if you want more information, check the link down below. And then the last notebook, so I've really only been using three this, this month. Um, this is a beautiful Foxy Fix. I got it as part of the mystery sale, goodness gracious, a couple of months ago. So I had just switched out of my fake Giglio passport to go to this because I wanted something really unique and no one has that. Um, and I've never seen anyone with one of these. It's a Foxy Fix in the uh, Sedona. It's a single elastic. It has the secretarial pockets with the little card slot here. I've got some cute little Mindy Lacefield cards. These are like little postcards or things you can tip in. And these are some cute little business cards. Um, again, another one of those Farouf zipper pouches, which I don't have anything in there. I've got some stencils. I do have a journal that I've been working in. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. let's see. I haven't really... Am I in the center? Yeah. I haven't really done much in here because I've been so busy, um, creating stuff. That'll give you a little hint. Um, there we go. I was trying to copy and, and make one of Mindy's little girls in my, my journal. Um, we have a new planner group in the Tulsa area, the Tornado Alley Planner Association. <laughs> um, did a little washi blocking. So that's that's all I have in there. I Since I've been doing a lot of the Christmas bullet journal stuff, I haven't spent as much time in here. Just a um, Tomoe River paper notebook that has notes and ideas in it. Um, this is one of my art, artine journal -y inserts, and this is one of the last things I did during Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Drew some pomegranates, but I haven't had time to color them in yet. And then I just have a few things in here. Like here's a ticket to the See the Met. What was that? October 9th, 2010. <laughs> That was the month before I lived in New York for a month, when I was auditioning with the Met. Oh, that would have been, um, what was that? It was a Wagner opera, I can't remember now. I think it was the first one from the Ring of the Nibelungen. Anyways, so, so there's that. So one of the reasons why we're here is not just to show you the um, notebooks, which I love doing, but I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, what's going on with um, YouTube. Um, of course, none of my videos, I think, are, uh, you know, directed towards children, but because I sometimes do show some of those cartoon characters that I have drawn or some of Mindy's cartoon characters with that new COPA and um, the Federal Trade Commission uh, there. Oh, I'll put the pen down so I don't click it. Uh, with some of their new ruling, um, you know, we don't really know exactly what will happen at the turn of uh, January in 2020. So I've been, you know, thinking some things, you know, I was thinking, you know, do I open a Patreon? You know, do I not open a Patreon? You know, I, I want to make sure that I have my content available for people, um, you know, but Patreon then does leave some people out um, because of the pain. So some people have thought of doing a Patreon where you have one, like a one dollar tier, um, and posting your videos, you know, through a different, 
you know, means YouTube or whatever. You know, I don't make a ton of money on YouTube. I mean, there are planner channels that have, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers or more um, and way more views. I mean, the most uh, views I have on one of my videos, it's like 46, 47,000, but that's one with Cheburashka. That was one of the very first videos I posted on my YouTube channel. Gosh, 11? 12 years ago? Maybe 13 years ago? I mean, it was it was quite a long time. Um, and because it had a cartoon character, Cheburashka, I unlisted it. Um, so that way, you know, since it is a cartoon character, um, it isn't, you know, in violation of anything. And I've also um, changed a few of my thumbnails. Like if, you know, there was uh, one of my little art journal videos um, had one of my little cartoon characters I was drawing or trying to draw, um, I would remove that from the thumbnail because that way you won't you know, you won't see it. Um, uh, so, so those are just some things that I'm thinking, you know, what, what do you guys think? Because things are going to change on YouTube, whether we, you know, we like it or not. Um, it is going to affect what is going on. So some of your, you know, your favorite planning channels, you know, might have to, um, go to a system where you, um, through YouTube, you have paid memberships, or you have a Patreon, or you have, you know, some sort of a, a system like that. And, you know, I want to know what, what do you guys think? Because, you know, I've, I've, this is becoming my busy time of the year anyways. Um, November and December are just hellacious months with all the nutcrackers we have, with church, you know, pageants and Christmas concerts and end of the semester stuff as a university professor, my schedule gets busier. And so I really, at this time of year, really only have time for like one video maybe a week, um, you know, and a couple of weeks that could be pushing it. And, you know, I'm really trying to be more mindful with my spending and mindful with the things that I share. I mean, I don't mind sharing the Chic Sparrow because, you know, you can't buy it. Now, you can buy Chic Sparrow, and I love Chic Sparrow. Um, so, you know, if you do that, that's on you. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be more mindful about what I put out in the, um, into the universe because I don't want it to be, I, I don't want my channel, it, yes I know it started out as an unboxing, well actually my, my channel started out with me um, having educational flute videos other than that one Chaburashka video. Um, a friend of mine had sent me that Chaburashka from Russia and I wanted to, you know, show hey look I got it. Um, so you know, I actually started, you know, posting some videos for some of my students, like me playing their piece, so they could, you know, when I wasn't there, um, you know, they could, you know, have a, a recording to listen to, um, not just, you know, any random flute player on YouTube or wherever they get their listen, you know, they're, they're, if they don't have a if they can't find a reputable recording of a really great artist. Um, and then the planning videos slowly came, and that's really all you've seen here. Very one kind of sided of me planning, and just until recently, this last year, some art type things. Um, so, you know, you know, let's start a dialogue down below. You know, what, you know, what are some things that you're thinking about, some things you would want to see. Um, if I was to go to a Patreon, you know, what would be some things that you, you know, would like to see? I, um, you know, it's, it's an interesting time right now, and we're just going to have to see how people navigate it. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where I am, this, um, past midnight <laughs> uh, on the day. Um, so, yeah. So, 
take some time, you know, really think about that. Think, you know, if I was to do a Patreon, would you want to subscribe? If you did subscribe, what would you want to see? Um, what would you expect for my content? What, you know, just give it some thought and let's start a discussion down below. Now, I will link Cheek Sparrow, I'll link Foxy Fix, and I'll link the um, Moterm on Amazon because that's the only place where you can um, get those other than AliExpress. Um, so there you go. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.